I'm Perry Peacock here with Wilderness Innovation. I've had some questions ask me, uh, people call on the phone or email or whatever. So my first question that I'm going to address that uh, someone has asked about is they ask about the seated bivy. Being able to use our poncho as basically an all-purpose shelter. And uh, wanted to know a little bit about that. Well, a seated bivy does a couple of things. One, it minimizes your contact with the ground. So that can be very important, and especially in colder weather, you have less area that you have to insulate from. So a seated bivy is really good for that. Also, the, the uh, heat from your body tends to rise, and if you're covered with uh, some kind of a bivy cover, like a poncho, that heat can rise up and be trapped inside of there. So the warmest air is up around the core of your body, which helps to keep you warm as well. One of the most important things about a seated bivy is to find whatever's going to be your backrest. It could be a clump of brush, it could be a tree. Right, once you've found a tree that, you know, you want to be pretty much ideally about as wide as the flat of your back, so you have a good enough support behind you. And you don't want stuff sticking out or whatever. Here is, this is dry. So this is not going to be sticky. The next most important thing is you want to have a good ground situation. Alright, so you know you want to clean out any debris, rocks, stickers, thorns. <laughs> you see this soil here is soft enough that I can stick my whole fingers clear down into there. So that's a good sign right there. So now if I'm fortunate enough to find a place quickly like this to be able to sit, why I'm, I'm in luck. Worst case scenario, you may have to pile up some plant debris, some willowy sticks or something that you can put crossways, different ways and kind of layers to give yourself kind of a bouncy, cushiony place to sit. And you can always find something to pile up to make a, a soft seat to sit on. All right, so I've got my ground prepped. So now I'm ready to take my seat. So you want to, it's kind of windy up here as you can tell. You want to kind of bend over a little bit. Because what you want to do is you want to take up the slack in the back where you're sitting. If you just go to sit down, you'll find that that process will start pulling back like this on you. So you want to kind of bend over first to take up that slack, then sit down. The back of the tree feels really good against my back. There's nothing uncomfortable about my back leaning on it. Now what you want to realize is you're wearing your shelter. In effect, your poncho becomes a one-person tent. I'm gonna put my hood on in a minute, but with it being so windy, it's a little easier for me to, to speak and work the camera with the thing off my head for right now. Now what I wanna do is take the end of my poncho here, and I wanna tuck it up under my feet. So now my body weight, the weight of my feet, is helping to hold that into position. So now my arms are sticking out, so what do I do about that? Well, what I do is I pull my arm inside my chest. Now I grab the other side and I do the same thing. Once you get inside, you just grab those shoulder tie-out tabs and pull them together over your chest. Once I got seated and kind of positioned there, the next thing I would do would be my hood, and then I would pull my arms in the last thing. Once I've got everything kind of tucked in where I want, then I would put my arms in last. I can put my hood on. These hoods were designed to work with a ball cap. So you can pull the, it's got ample room where you can pull out past the bill of your ball cap. And you don't always have to pull it up tight. Some people think they need to, but you really just, just enough to hold it in place, really. So the back of the hood has a Velcro, you can just Fasten that down, that pulls the hood down a little bit, and now that makes it just about right to go over the end of your ball cap right there. Okay, I'll cinch down here a little bit, put my arms in, put my sleeves in, try to shift around, sometimes you just shift around a little bit, and just lean your head forward a little, or back, whichever way you want to do it. Now, one thing about it, when you go to get up, Remember, you've got stuff tucked under your feet. If you try to just 
If you try to just stand up, you're gonna trip all over yourself. So before you stand up, make sure your feet are out on the ground. And then you can go ahead and get up. Something else you can do if you have one of our uh, fleece poncho liners, our Polar Tech fleece, or if you have one of our Osni cloaks, is it can snap inside of the poncho. Basically, you got an insulated shelter to sit in and, and go up against a tree. And let me tell you what, that can be very nice and warm. Well, once you uh, get into this kind of sheltering, you start looking for trees that are suitable for a seeded bivy. This one right here forks uh, right, na right down near the ground and it has a slight sweep backwards and it really provides great support for my back. My head sits, my head leans just perfectly right here on the tree. I'm telling you what, I could sleep here so easily. So one of the things about this is by using a poncho as a one person tent, so to speak, a seated bivy is what I call it. By using it like that, it, it blocks the wind, which a lot of times the wind is a huge threat. If it's raining or whatever, you can block the rain. Uh, you're sitting on part of your poncho, so you're not sitting on the wet ground. You've got the hood over your head, so everything's running off of you. So you're nicely protected, and at the same time, you can take it up. If you're in a situation where you need to be on the lookout, and you need to prepare to get up and go in a hurry, this is a nice thing because since you're wearing the shelter, you can sit here, you can be out of the weather, you can be comfortable. If you get an alert and you need to get up and go, and you can just take off with the shelter already on you and just take off on a run. So it's very mobile and it's very good for quick movement. One other thing you can do with a seated bivy is say you got a backpack or a little kind of a little day pack like this one or whatever. You can put that up against the tree as well to give yourself a little bit more of a slope. It's more comfortable to go like that. That way the padding of the pack is right against you. You don't have anything sharp in your pack sticking up against you. Here we go. Here I am, very comfortable. I could very easily take a nap right here, just like this, and be very comfortable. A bivy, a tarp. It can be a hammock. I just pull on the drawstring there. So here I am. I've gone from I've gone from poncho to seated bivy to hammock. And this thing is nice and comfortable. We always say carry gear that does more and carry less gear. Hey here I am in here comfortable, cozy. My poncho has become a hammock. And if I'm on the run. My poncho can be a seated bivy. I got my shelter with me all the time when I've got my PSS poncho.